Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 10 past 11 on Sunday uh, the 19th of November. I'm currently just sort of cracking on and being productive as usual. Uh, my current read is... Um, Shit, what's it called? This Much Is True by Miriam Margulies, I think is how you pronounce her name. Not 100% sure. The woman who played um, Professor Sprout or in uh, the Harry Potter films uh, and did various other bits and bobs as well. She's actually, I'm literally right at the end, so she's just been talking about how it's interesting that she, to her that she's remembered for that role, but she's like never read, I think she said she'd never seen the films after they were made and she'd never read the books. Um, so she has no idea what people are talking about when they keep stopping her in the street. But anyway, uh, that is what I'm currently reading. I think after that I'm going to read Ruth Rendell, The Thief, which is a quick read. I have it up there. And I actually probably need to figure out what I'm going to read after that because I think basically I have like 10 pages of Miriam left. That's like 90 pages. And I probably read about 120 to 140 pages in an hour on the exercise bike at the gym. So I, I probably need another book to... F to you know to pick up after that but uh, we will see I'm not sure what I'm gonna get to uh, I'm sure I will try and update you tomorrow with some some information Dane reads uh, hello everybody um, it is 20 past 11 on Monday the 20th of November I am absolutely stacked with work at the moment but I'm cracking on as much as possible did some uh, Christmas shopping earlier, went to the gym, so that was all good. Did some more reading actually, so um, I finished reading uh, Miriam Margulies, This Much Is True, that was a 4 out of 5. I read The Thief by Ruth Rendell, which was one of the quick reads initiatives, uh, like a novella, if not, probably just a long short story I would call it. Basically about this woman who is a compulsive liar, and whenever people wrong her, she steals their things and then trashes them uh, to kind of get her revenge. Uh, but yeah, it was okay. She was a very unlikable character, but she got what was coming to her. Uh, it was good to read some Ruth Rendell as I haven't before, but I know I probably should. Uh, and then I started reading William S. Burroughs and Allen Ginsberg, The Yeag Letters. Um, I know that Yeag is it's actually Yahe, um, but because of how Burroughs spelled it, it is The Yeag Letters. And then within, the editor has changed it so that he is actually pronouncing it Yahe, because for it to be Yahe, it has to have the... Um, accent on the letter. Anyway, basically it's kind of an epistory novel written in um, a series of letters from Burroughs and Allen Ginsberg to and from each other with a few other bits and bobs thrown in. I um, have only read the introduction so far which was fascinating and gave me a lot of context of what the book actually is. Um, but yes, you'll have to wait for further updates on what I actually think of it. So that was that. Um, I haven't been eating particularly well. I basically, because of how busy I've been and because I've just been constantly working, I haven't had time to cook anything. So I've just been eating a lot of like ready meals and you know, like pot noodles, um, tin food, all of that stuff. But I do have some stuff to make a kebab, which I'm very excited about making. So I need to do that soon. Um, tomorrow I have calls at 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. I'm probably gonna be up relatively late tonight again working, but I'm gonna get into bed soon and finish that documentary I started watching, which was really good. A documentary called Untold the Ghost Fire Train or something. Um, it's about a fire that happened at uh, Luna Park in Australia. Uh, where a bunch of people died so it's a three-parter and I watched part one which covered the actual disaster um, and then parts two and three go into like okay well what actually caused it so um, yeah I'm excited to see finish that off so I will go and do that soon all right all righty everybody hello um, it is currently five to midnight on Tuesday the 21st of November uh, did a bit of gymming earlier, so I went on the exercise bike. I finished reading the Yeag Letters by William S. Burroughs and Alan Ginsberg. I know it's supposed to be the Yahe Letters. It's not my fault Ginsberg couldn't spell. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Probably a 4 out of 5. Uh, I said it before, but the introduction for me was the, the best part. So, um, you know, make of that as you will. Um, and then I started reading Gregor the Overlander by Suzanne Collins, authoress of the uh, Hunger Games. I don't know why I called her an authoress. She's just an author. Uh, needlessly gendered term there, but yes, um, it, it's not very good to be honest. It reminds me of like so many other like indie fantasy, portal fantasy style books that I've read. Um, so not great, but you know, I'll read it anyway because it's uh, Suzanne Collins. Plus I have the re remainder of the books there. Um, I did finish watching that documentary on the Ghost Train fire yesterday, which was very good. So um, finished all of that off. 
Um, I've been trying to do some housework and stuff, but it's slow going because there's so much to do. Um, but I am getting somewhere at least. I like made some chili oil earlier. I still haven't made that kebab that I want to make. So I had a subway earlier. I've still just been eating shite. Um, yes, that's where I'm at. I'll probably go back to the gym tomorrow and hopefully do a run because um, it's Wednesday. So because I do park run on Saturdays and I don't want to overstretch and injure myself from running too much because that seems to keep happening. Um, but my legs and my knees and everything are doing okay at the moment. So while I can, I do a Wednesday on the treadmill, a Tuesday or a Wednesday on the treadmill, and then um, the Saturday park run. So um, if I, the only thing is, is I'm ten, ten, like I'm a bit unsure about doing a run because what if I do injure myself? Then I can't do park run, and I've volunteered already. Like I'm going to be writing the run report. So if I can't run, I've still got to go along. Um, I guess I could walk it, but it, you know, you know. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'm gonna go and do a bit more, a bit more filming. And uh, oh yeah, I, I did. Uh, I interviewed someone called Tracy F uh, Tracy Fields, Tracy Fells rather, uh, <laughs> who uh, is a writer and uh, has got a short story collection coming out. So she's gonna be appearing on the art show soon. And um, yes, that's where I'm at. Yo, hello everybody. It is um, 25 past 10 on Wednesday, the 22nd of November. Um, I did my run at the gym earlier, that was good. Um, almost, I hit, I think it was 5.92 miles and about 930 calories burned. So, next one or two, because I kind of up my um, up my speed for each one. So, a couple more goes and hopefully I'll, I'll hit that 6 miles, 1000 calories mark, which would be nice. I'm working up to 6.2 miles an hour is about 10 kilometers an hour, which means I would be able to do the 5k at park run in half an hour. Um, Cause that's my goal is to do it in under half an hour. My current record is like 32 minutes. I will hopefully be running it again on um, Saturday. So that's good. Oh yeah, I got in the post today. I forgot what this company's called. Oh, Sneak, I've got some Sneak Energy. It's basically like G Fuel, um, except G Fuel isn't vegan and Sneak is. So it's uh, yeah, an energy drink. Um, I've only had one so far, it was alright. It was orange flavour which is pretty much guaranteed to be my least favourite flavour. Um, but I'm going to have another one later with um, cherry bomb flavour, so that would be good. I need to cut my hair, it's getting too long. Um, I normally just cut it myself so I just get a pair of scissors and like cut like that pretty much. Um, although I don't know, maybe I'll wait until next week because my cleaner comes next Wednesday so then she can help me clear up all of my hair, which is a fun job for her. Um, I haven't done any more reading because at the moment I'm only reading on the exercise bike at the gym and obviously I ran today rather than um, going on the bike but I'll be back on the bike tomorrow and Friday ahead of park run on Saturday. Um, the other thing, I've got a client who, it's really stressful so I'm, I'm writing two books for them and they want them both done by Christmas so 100,000 words by Christmas, 100,000 words in a month which is like unrealistic. That's a, le a novel in a month basically I need to write for them. Um, but also one of them, they told me to wait for feedback, didn't give me any feedback, so I was just sitting there not doing anything on it, and now they're like, we've missed all these milestones, we were supposed to get this over to the client, and it's like, I was waiting for the feedback, you told me to wait for feedback. So now they expect me to deliver the next 25% of it by Friday, again it's Wednesday. Um, I have like 48 hours to do 12,500 words basically, which is not going to happen, I'll just send over as much as I can. Um, and I guess I'm going to be doing a lot of work this weekend as well. However, I am pretty much up to date with all of my filming and stuff, so there is that. So I will be, at least be able to focus. I'll probably get into bed in a bit and watch some Netflix. I watched a documentary last night on the Hatton Garden jewellery heist, uh, which was basically a bunch of old men. I think the average age was like 65, 75, 70, something like that. Uh, this group of old men robbed $20 million worth of jewellery from um, safety deposit boxes in, in London uh, about, about eight, nine years ago now. I remember it happening, so it was really interesting because they'd actually got one of the burglars who's now out of jail and they'd got him um, in the documentary, so that was cool. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go and crack on with more shit. Hello everybody, it is currently 